the diary of my grandma Fanny, August 22nd, 1942. Today we canned 27 quarts of tomato juice. And then in the evening, I went over to my brother, Martin Knoll, for supper. It was a fun night. Hi everybody, and welcome to Crock Pot Wednesday. And today, of course, we're gonna be using my Fix It Forget It cookbook. Now I know a lot of you have got this cookbook in the last six months. So I'm gonna share with you the page number in case you have the book. So today we are on page number 270. And today we're gonna to make stuffed peppers with rice. Now the recipe calls for green peppers, but I think it's nice to add a little color into our life. So we're gonna use all different color peppers. They're stuffed peppers for the crock pot. Okay, so the first thing we have to do is we're going to have to make sure you wash your peppers and we're going to take the core out. This is such a simple recipe. So we're just going to go ahead and take the stem and the seeds out. Let me pan my camera down here. So we're going to go ahead and just take the seeds and the core out. There's one. We'll go ahead and finish all of these and then we'll go to the next step. I will also share with you the recipe at the end of this video in case you would like to make it for yourself. So the next thing we need to do is we need to make one and one fourth cups of rice. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make the rice and then I'll get back to you when that's all done because my ground beef is sauteed. It calls for one pound of ground beef. That's already sauteed and everything is ready to assemble. We're just going to go ahead and let's make the rice and I'll get right ground beef. And we're going to add two cups of rice to that. I'm going to go ahead and stir that together. Go ahead and we're going to fill up our peppers. So we have six peppers. And you want to make sure you fill them up real good. All right, so our peppers are all stuffed. I had about maybe a half a cup of the meat and rice. I just put that over top. Now it calls for eight ounces of tomato sauce and one fourth cup of beef broth. I had some leftover tomato sauce that I'm going to use. It's more like a pizza sauce, but I'm going to use it. And we're going to add our beef broth. Then it calls for one tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. So we're going to add that. Mix it all together and we're going to pour over the top of our peppers on low for five to seven hours. So we're going to pour it over the top. All right, that's all it is to it. And when it's finished, we'll pull it out and we'll see how good it is. Looks beautiful, doesn't it? Take care everyone and we'll see you guys tomorrow. I'm ready to sit down and eat.